Hi guys, it's Kim from Get Reef. Today I'm going to show you a um, slide trace. So all you need is some line, 0.5, I'm using 0.5, depends on you. 100 pound, uh, 160 pound cable, a non-return slide weighted, stopper for your non-return. I'm using 10 0 hooks, two of them. A uh, nine ounce grapnel sinker. Uh, the hooks and sinkers, guys, it all depends on what your rod's throwing and conditions of water and what you're targeting when it comes to hooks and sinkers, right? A uh, cable tire, a pair of scissors, lighter, and some cutters. To get started, take a 100, 150 pound cable. The length of the trace will depend on where you're fishing. And like if the banks are high, there's not enough water for the longer slides to get over. It might take a bit longer to go, or it might not go. And then if you're fishing an uh, area with a lot of reef, then you want to go a shorter slide. All depends on where, where you're fishing and what you're targeting, right? So all you're going to do is put the hook, the steel through the eye of the hook. And come in from that way. You're gonna snap one, two, three, four, five. I do five times. You can do how many times you feel safe with. You're gonna come through the back. Tight. Now the lighter is gonna heat the glow. And you pull it tight. So the coating acts as a glue. See. Right? The coating acts as a glue so it doesn't slip or open. You just cut off the tag end. I don't cut it really close because I want that piece there to hold on to my bait. Because you, you put in say like your first hook through your, your belly and then this pokes in as well. So it keeps the hooks straight. Right? You can also use a, a toothpick. So the next one, second hook. Through the back, All right? Pull it down. Now, normally when I make my traces, I make one hook face down, so this one will go into the belly, and then this one will go by the head. So one face up, one face is down, right? And it all depends on where you, what bait you're using. Sorry, what bait you're using uh, determines uh, how far the hooks must be apart, right? So same story. Just gonna hold it down, snell one, two, three, four, five through the back. All right, That's it. now we go through the back because you notice the first hook, and it's actually almost like a semicircle, so it helps to, to set the hooks on the fish. You heat it up. Now, guys, please, if you're fishing for your big game, excuse me, your big game fish, and you know your fight's gonna take long and you're targeting your uh, triple digits, please make sure your your slide has a power swivel. Alright? Your power swivel is much stronger. So I prefer using the slides with the power swivel. Simple figure of eight, guys. Simple figure of eight, go one, two, through the back, right, and then, sorry. Two, and then you, you come through the back, right. So I'm just gonna hit this down quickly. Pull in the tag end. 
right? So, there's a knot and there we go. I do lubricate my knots even on steel, right? And just pull it tight. So, oops, that's your knot there. And then you just take your tag in and twist it. Now. Alright, so you go about three or four times. Because the the figure of eight will will not open, right? And then this pins down. Sorry. On the tag end, I don't I don't use heat string, right? And same story. The hooks keep getting me. So same story, yeah. You just heat string quickly. Uh, so I don't use heat string, you just heat it. Just heat it a bit. That's it. And there's your trace. See? Yeah, right. So that's your slide made. Now with the stopper, let me show you quick. You're always gonna tie your knot for your sinker on this end, not on the swivel, because the swivel end goes through the slide. See? So the slide hits there, and your knot will not pass, because it's all the tension is gonna be on the ring. Alright? So, quickly gonna. Oops, sorry. Simple figure of eight as well, yeah? Pull from the back, lubricate, pull tight. Cut off the tag end. Now the, the length of your sinker is totally up to you. Me, I do not make it long. Uh, I do not make it too short. Right? Uh, like, I make it about 30, 40, depends where I'm fishing. So right now I'm just going to make it about 40 centimeters. Attach it to my grab now. Simple figure of eight as well here. Yeah. And pull tight. Now, see, I make a granny knot onto the sinker. See the granny knot onto the sinker line. So if I have to get snagged up while I'm on with the fish, the sinker will break off and I'll still be able to land the fish and safely release it and then when I'm casting the grain knot will not snap because I clip the sinker there when you're casting the slide right so the trick here I'm going to show you guys say the water is up the swells are up uh, the current's bad or the sinker's not setting or you're fishing like the bay the harbor your sinker will not set or it'll be hard to set to in the sand and it's like this. So what I do, bend all out, right? All the spikes out. So you're gonna get your grapnel like that, right? You bend all the spikes out. I'm gonna make a claw. So half of that there, I'm gonna make a claw, right? Don't worry about it being loose or the grapnel not holding and being loose and stuff. That we can sort out just now. Right, so you're making claws. You just put the pliers there and you bend it. That's it. You just bend it. Right? Don't worry about setting it all now. 
just bend all first so you know you got your claws all right then what you do you open the grapnel up you push down yeah so it gets tighter yeah it'll get tighter here right so when you do close it, it comes tighter here right and this flex it a bit flex it a bit right same with this one just push together closed like that and then be tight just flex it out but flex it out and you're gonna get that cloth sinker right this holds much better much stronger sometimes it'll be it'll take you maybe 10 minutes to if you have to reel back, say you didn't get picked up, it'll take you like 10 minutes to take the sinker out of the sand. Right? So, the claw, and then just to secure it, if there's a very, very big swell, and I still determined to slide, because I believe, I caught sharks in winter, uh, like your reef sharks, I caught flatties, sandies, uh, on bad weather, bad conditions, south was blowing, doesn't always mean that you'll have to always fish for inheads on on perfect north like third day of north or flat seas not all the time they don't always feed they feed more i agree with that they feed a lot better on the third day of north second day of north but there will be uh, that odd one or two on the south uh, or, or on a flat sea the sea might be flat and maybe the south starts to still Still get picked up right it all depends where you're fishing and also a bit of luck guys um, so i'm gonna use a cable tie you put the cable tie around close the grapnel up Oops. sorry about that you get another cable tie so you can put it around all right Just like that. Right, that's if the swells are terribly bad or the sinker is not holding. Some sometimes you get those days where it's just nothing's working out for you. Sinker's not holding, keep popping, base not reaching. If the sinker's popping, you just do it. See? So you clip your sinker when you're casting, your leader will go on that swivel. That's that's how it is. So that's our trace and my little trick please try it guys give it a try i guarantee you this will not pop in a hurry and it will hold uh, very well normally especially when you're starting your bigger baits um, so thank you for watching thank you for supporting like our facebook page and instagram and also subscribe on youtube and hit the notification bell thank you guys for supporting us again um, Many more to come once I get out and get to the beach. I can show you more tricks. And guys, remember, don't get reefed.